In today's video, we are going to talk about Microsoft Loop tutorial for beginners. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. While well, Microsoft Loop is a new app for starting new ideas, co-creating with your team members, your colleagues, and collecting resources and collaborating from within other Microsoft 365 apps. Long story short, you can use Microsoft Loop with other Microsoft apps as well. Loop is being released in stages, starting with Loop components that can be used within Teams chat, meeting invites, and meeting notes. I'll show you that how you can use Microsoft Loops component in your Microsoft Teams as well. And the full Microsoft Loop app is expected to be released in 2022. To use Microsoft Loop in your Microsoft team, you should have a work or school account and only then you will be able to use your Microsoft Loop in your Microsoft Teams. After opening your team, go to your chat section and this is my chat and I'm going to chat with this person. Here you will see an icon as this one. If you just click on it or hover over it, it will say loop component. I'll just click on this one and these are different loops components that I can use. I can go with task list, I can create a table, I can go with the paragraph, number list, checklist or bullet list. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a paragraph in here. So I'll just click on this one and I just need to give a title in here and I am going to name it as yesterday's meeting and this is the title and after that if you just hit enter you can start typing your paragraph and in case if you want to add some more people into this paragraph or if you want other people to join in you can just type add here and after that you will be able to mention those people as you can see I can mention these people into my chats and then those people will be given a link or will be given a notification to join into this one. Other than that, we can also copy its link so that people can join in. And here you can see here we have the option that says people in organization with the link can edit. Let's say I'm chatting with bunch of people and all of them will be able to edit this chat or edit this loop component. And in case if you want to change it, you can change it anytime. As you can see, we have many options in here. So this is how you can add other people in here. So after you are done adding your paragraph and adding your information into this one, you just need to click on this send loop component button. And now this paragraph will be sent in this chat. Now in case if you want to add other people or if you want other people to join in and contribute into this paragraph, you just need to copy this link and you can send this link by any means like you can send it through WhatsApp, through your mail or by any other mean. And all those people will be able to join in and they will be able to contribute in this paragraph. And not only that, if you hover over or click on any of the content in this paragraph, like I'm going to click on yesterday's meeting and here you can see I have been given the information that this person has added this information and you will be able to see all of those information by just clicking on the content. You will be given the name of the person whoever has added that information into this one. Now, there is one more thing and that is if you just press enter and if you just press forward slash now, it will allow you to add some more loop components. As you can see here, we can add table, we can mention a person, we can add a date, we can add a task list, then we have an agenda, image, checklist, and many more things that we can add. And this will help you to make your reports and your chat more feasible and more informative. I'll just get out of this and now I'll show you that how you can use your Microsoft Loop components into your Microsoft Teams meetings. I'll go to my Teams meetings. This is my team and I will just open this one and I'll start a meeting in this one. So I'll just click on meet now. I'll turn off the audio so I'll just start join now. So here if you just click on your chat button or chat options as you can see we have an option of loop component. So if you just click on this one again you can use anything in here and you can add anything into your chats and with the help of this one all of the people whoever are in this meeting 
will be able to use these components and let's say you want to have some meeting nodes in this meeting you can do so by using loop components and in case if you want to delete this one you can do so by just clicking on discard button and from here just click on discard now i'll show you that how you can add this loop component permanently in your taskbar over the top as we have already copied the link of this loop component so just click on this plus sign and from there we'll go with an option that says website so i'll just click on this one and you can name it anything and in the url just paste the link that you had copied earlier after that click on save and now that loop component has been added permanently into this one as you can see we have added it successfully in here so from here if you just click on it it will open it like this i'll show you one more way that how you can use your loop component in your office app as you can see it is going to open in our office app in our microsoft team so i'll go back to my chats and i'll start a new loop component so i'll just click on this one i'll have my table and i'll go with three by six i'm going to name it as experiment i will hit enter and we are good to go so we can add different information into our table let's say i write here first april then i'll go with second april and for the last i can go with third april so this is how you can do that and now i'll show you that how you can open this one into your microsoft 365 apps if you just click on this one and it will open a microsoft 365 page and here you can see now we are into our office 365 and it will open our experiment which was basically a microsoft loop component and you will be able to see that in here so from here you can add it and if you send a link to any other person he or she will also be able to edit or add information or content into this one and you will be able to see all of those changes live at your system now i'll show you that how you can see this component into your microsoft onedrive because all of these files get saved into your onedrive on its own so if i just click on this all apps and from here i'll go to my onedrive so these are all the files that are there in my onedrive and now let's search for experiment because we know the name of our loop component was experiment so i will just search for experiment and hit enter here you can see we have our experiment dot fluid file because the extension of microsoft loop components are fluid so if i just click on it and if you see the location here it says documents microsoft teams chat files because we created this one into our microsoft teams chat so if i just click on this one again it will open this one into another tab into our microsoft office 365 app and we can use it into this one and all those people can access it and add it and add the content into our this microsoft loop component and i have already told you that how you can invite other people to join this microsoft loop component and that was all about this video and i hope now that now you have an idea that how you can use microsoft loop if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll see you in the next video till then take care